Welcome in my math party people. Let's go ahead and check this out here with a word problem as always. Read the question first. All right, so don't forget that. So here we see that it says how many pieces of rope will he be able to cut? Sounds good. So I can already tell from the question sentence that we're dealing with some rope that we're cutting and we want to know how many pieces of rope we can cut. So I'm going to go ahead and start off right there in my head or on paper. What I want is going to be, hey, the number of pieces of rope. So blank pieces of rope can be cut. Again, start with that story here because the story is going to reveal the math that you need to do. So don't get ahead of yourself. Let's read the information. Let's take it down and let's see what we might have to do. So here we see that Nick has 16 yards of rope. He needs to cut pieces that are four feet in length. How many pieces of rope will he be able to cut? Okay, sounds great. So here it says again, Nick has 16 yards. Okay, okay. So with that 16 yards of rope, he needs to cut pieces that are 12 feet in length. What do I notice there? I notice that we have 16 total yards. Each piece needs to be four feet. And I see a problem. Notice how we have yards and feet. If you immediately took the 16, so 16 total yards, um, and then each piece equals four feet. If you took that and you said, okay, cool, 16 divided by four equals four. Oh, I'm gonna pick A. That's completely wrong. Because notice how we have different units. Notice how we have yards for the total length of the rope. Then we have four feet for each piece. You can't do that. If you divide that, you're not going to get the number of pieces. You have to be able to use the same units here. My as bad party people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. So with that said, what are we supposed to do? Well, quite simply, we can go ahead and convert the yards to feet. And that's exactly what I'm going to do because yes, you do need to divide, but again, you need the same units. And so with that said, how do we turn yards into feet? Simply put, we can say, hey, look, 16 yards. There are two ways that I teach unit conversions. One thing that you want to understand is that, well, every yard is three feet. And if you have that, you know, at the, at the back of your head, so here, one yard equals three feet. If you have this logged in the back of your head, you can just go ahead and say, well, I want 16 yards. So I can just multiply this by 16, then that by 16. Yeah, you can absolutely do it like that. Or you can go ahead and use the rule in terms of canceling units out because you can go ahead and multiply by one yard on bottom, uh, three feet up top. Again, three feet is one yard. So technically speaking, you're multiplying by one. Technically, all this does is it changes the unit. Because if you notice, if you have yards on top and bottom, they cancel out. So in reality, all you're doing is 16 times three, which would have been the same thing right here. Would have been the same exact thing. So with that, my part of people, we'll have 16 times three, and 16 times three is 48. So that's 48 feet. Again, there's feet left over. 
So now that we have the total rope in feet, now we can divide. And so we'll have 48 feet divided by four feet per piece of rope, because again, the word each really gives it away. He needs to cut pieces that are four feet in length. Each of the pieces are four feet. So you divide to find out how many pieces, and that's gonna give you 12 pieces. And there we have it. So the answer here will be C, and we're all set. But remember, you have to make sure you pay attention to the language of the problem so you can get those key words and not get tricked when you see any you know, little cute things like that where we have different units um, and it seems simple. And so with that said, I'm Anderson, your math coach, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep up the great work. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.